Now, one of uh, Jerusalem's top football teams, known for rejecting Arab players, has signed two new Muslim players for the first time. It's angered the fans, who have responded with vicious protests and anti-Muslim slogans. RT's Paula Slee reports. The game's in there, but the action's out here. The Israeli football team, Beitar Jerusalem, is making headlines not for what it does on the pitch, but what it does off it. The only leading team in the country never to have signed an Arab player because of fan pressure, Beitar is a bastion of Israel's political right. If I'm as a fan, don't, 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 don't want that my enemy will be a player in my team, I, I can say it. Chants like this, we hate all Arabs, are only the tip of the racist volcano. It doesn't happen often, but tonight's match is between Beitar Jerusalem and a local Israeli Arab team. The police are not taking any chances, which is why these gates are for the Jewish fans and the other side of the stadium is for the Palestinian supporters. Now, the match has just finished, and as you see, the Beitar Jerusalem supporters are walking out behind me. But it will be another hour and a half before the police give permission to the Arab fans to leave the stadium. But keeping the two sides apart does little to dispel the hatred. In March last year, hundreds of Beitar fans rampaged through a Jerusalem mall after a game, chanting death to the Arabs and randomly attacking Arab workers. They try to say that there are just a few racists, 5 to 20 people, but that's not right. Racism is in the DNA of this team. It's in their blood. Rifat Turk is a football legend in Israel. He was the first Arab to play for the Israel national team and to represent the country at the Olympic Games. I remember playing against this team. Their supporters cursed me because I'm an Arab Muslim. If this is not racism, what is? That problem is about to get a whole lot bigger. Team owner, Russian-Israeli tycoon Arkady Gaidemak, recently announced his decision to hire two Muslim players from Chechnya. It's not good. They're doing it for nothing. These players from Chechnya aren't with the Jewish people, they're not with the team. We have different values. While other countries have faced international sanctions for racist incitement by fans, Israel has so far avoided such close scrutiny. But fears are growing that the beautiful game there is slowly being turned into a source of violence, racism and hatred. Paulus Lea, RT, Jerusalem.